fear. Faith. Read Matthew 14, 22 through 36. Faith is often the child of fear. Fear propelled Peter out of the boat. He'd ridden these waves before. He knew what these storms could do, and he wanted out. Lord, if it's you, Peter says, tell me to come to you on the water. Now, Peter is not testing Jesus. He is pleading with Jesus. Oh, stepping onto a stormy sea is not a move of logic. It is a move of desperation. Peter grabs the edge of the boat, throws out a leg, follows with the other. Several steps are taken. It is as if an invisible ridge of rocks run beneath his feet. Oh, but at the end of the ridge is the glowing face of a never-say-die friend. We do the same, don't we? We come to Christ in an hour of deep need. We abandon the boat of good works. We realize, like Peter, that sparring gapsy between us and Jesus is a feat too great for our feet. So we beg for help. Hear his voice and step out in fear, hoping that our little faith will be enough. See, some of us, like Peter, look back, and some of us, unlike Peter, never look back. Others of us, like Peter, feel the wind and are afraid. Maybe, oh, just maybe, we face the wind of pride. I'm not such a bad sinner after all. Look what I can do. Perhaps we face the wind of legalism. I know that Jesus is doing part of this, but I have to do the rest. Most of us, though, face the wind of doubt. I'm too bad for God to treat me this well. I don't deserve a rescue. And downward we plunge. With our heads barely above the water, we have to make a decision. We know Peter's choice. Beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. What are you going to do? Life or death? Heaven or hell? What are you going to do? Fear Faith.